urged us to take precautions. But in the streets, people said, it doesn't exist. It had to be true. After all, scientists exaggerate everything. By January 2020, thousands of people had been infected. Scientists were all urging us to stay safe. I wish I had listened then. Online we read conspiracy articles. Most of them claimed Africans are immune. I was so happy. Proud I didn't panic like the rest. I couldn't be more wrong. In February the first case in Africa was reported. By March Kenya had also reported a case. Articles started popping up left and right. Drink alcohol and hand sanitizers. They kill the virus. Of course, scientists warned they were false. Again, I didn't listen. Some of my friends died, and others lost their eyesight. Soon after, I started displaying signs of the virus. I thought of going to a hospital, but a friend advised against it. She gave me a drug, which she assured would cure me. Again, I refused to heed scientists' warning. I was so focused on disproving science that I forgot I am not an island. I infected my whole family. My mother was old. My brother had underlying conditions and my niece was too young to survive. Now I am living as a COVID-19 long hauler. The worst pain is knowing I could have prevented all this. Listening would have cost me nothing.